purse, no extra tunic, no extra sandals, no bag, no cell phone, nothing. And they cast out demons and heal the sick. Or the hammer. Let's pray. Gracious and almighty God, you provide for us all that we need. Yet sometimes our faith is shaky, for we fear and seem like we have not. We pray this day that you would grant us faith and peace in abundance, that our hearts would be calm and our minds would be reassured by your power that is constantly in our lives. In your name we pray. Amen. If I had a hammer... Thank you. I know it's early. I'd hammer in the morning. You remember that one? I'd hammer in the evening all over this land. It's sort of 4th of July ish. At least Americana. I have a, a, a modest toolbox in the house. It's all right. It's got the screwdrivers and the ratchet set and, and a couple of hammers and some other stuff in there that I've picked up along the way. But have you ever noticed that when you face a certain task, sometimes you look at the tools at hand and you try and make them work? For instance, have you ever tried to hang a picture without a hammer? Yes. How do you get that nail in the wall? Back of your shoe. With a shoe? What else? I use the shot put. What else? What do you use? Well, instead of using a nail, you could use one of those clips that keep those pictures up. You could run out to the store and get one of those adhesive clips that stick to the wall, right? We start to think, yes, sir. Daddy! We all want to hand the wall. We don't even know how to use a hand. And sometimes we decide we're not going to hang the picture. Because there's a nail right here, and the picture will look just fine over there. No way. If I have a hammer, I use it. But sometimes we don't have the hammer. That's what I wanted to get at today. You see, I don't want to say it's a problem, but there's... There's a moment in this text that gives me pause. Because Christ has just said that, he's, that prophets are without honor in their hometown. And he was unable to work miracles because of their lack of faith. Now that scares me. So, so I, we'll come back to that. But Jesus had his hammer taken away. Yet he called to all of his disciples. He sent them out into the world without anything, just as they are right now. Ladies and gentlemen, leave your wallets and purses in the pews and go. And they did. And they did everything. They were able to hang the pictures, so to speak, wherever Christ called them to, without the hammer. So the question I have is, how? Because... Sometimes I feel unequipped. You might too. Sometimes we get to a point in our day or in our week where we just don't have the right tool, it seems like. And we wonder, okay, how am I going to get this done? Then I remember a couple other things that I read in there. But first, Miracles, not simply because 
because of a lack of faith in those around him, but because of pure unbelief. There was zero faith. You know, he says, if you have it the size of a small sea, you can move mountains. But when we have nothing, we can do nothing. And even Christ is limited when we separate ourselves from our belief in God. That's what this is about. The teaching in the synagogue on Sunday, the being powerless in front of his sisters, his own family who's right there, and the amazing powers that are given to his followers, the ones who he calls to go out into the world with nothing, apparently, to work miracles. It's all about believing in God. When we believe in God, we trust in Him. When we trust in God, we act accordingly. Sometimes crazy, but in accordance with, with God, what God has charged us to do. Last little thing. I read a neat little blurb on Facebook last week. I loved it. It was about dieting. And I know. By the way, there's good snacks downstairs. Come eat them. Um, <laughs> Me. Anybody ever diet ever in your life? I totally am. You currently <laughs> are. Perfect. Well, this was neat. Uh, we've all done different diets. The low carb, the high carb, the no carb, the no fat, the, the Atkins, the South Beach, the whatever. This was a neat one. It said, I don't diet. I eat according to my goals. Now, if we switch that over to a faith life, a faith view, we don't doubt. We serve according to our gifts. We don't suffer. We have according to our blessings. We don't doubt. We go forth according to our faith. We have everything we need if we use the right tools for the right job. It's not about anything else that the world can give us. It's about what God has already given us and the ability to believe in Him. So believe. Be at peace. Go forth. I'm going to loan you a hammer if it makes you feel better. In His name we pray.